What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the 365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we're gonna look at an action which is marked as red or unread V3. So if you watch one of my previous videos on mark as red or unread V2, this is the exact same action. So this is just a really quick video going through the action just to document it because this one is currently in preview, which means that it's probably using some of the latest technologies, something behind the scenes that they're not really alluding to, but essentially it's the same action as the last one. So I'm just trying to go through it just so we have this one, um, but it's going to be very quick and very similar to the last video. So if you watched the last video, you probably don't need to watch this one, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. That's what I'm going to cover today. So I'm in Power Automate here. Um, I've got a flow which is set up for when a new email arrives, V3. I can click on new step, then I can go to, um, I can expand the list here and find the Office 365 Outlook connector. And if I scroll down here, we can see there is a mark as read or unread V3 preview. So we're going to select this one. I was going to ask for three things. It's going to ask for message ID, original mailbox address, and the mark as. So only the message ID is required, so this is the only one we need to put in. So we're just going to get a piece of dynamic content from um, the trigger, uh, message ID. Choose that one in there. The original mailbox address is if you are using a shared mailbox, you can have this pick up and do things based on those. So if you are trying to find a message in a shared mailbox, you just need to put the um, the mailbox ID in here. If you had a shared mailbox and you clicked on this, you would see a list of them. You can also use a trust and, um, trust and value to insert a shared mailbox in here and put that address in, uh, and that will uh, pull that through. Next, we can choose whether we're marking as red or unread. So in this instance, I'm going to choose mark as red, and we're going to save and test it. So we'll click on the test button here, test. Uh, I'll perform the trigger action, we'll click on test. I'll flick over to my, uh, here, to my emails, and we'll go um, uh, red or unread. Uh, that's all, folks. And we will hit send on this email. So we'll hit send, we'll open up our flow again, we'll uh, go over to our emails and we'll wait for that email to drop into the mailbox here. Once it drops into here, the flow will run and it will mark it as red. Um, and then, uh, so see, it drops in and it automatically marks it as red. Um, so I've not clicked on that, I've not touched it at all, it's just marking it as red. We can also do the reverse, so we can select to mark this as unread and we can test this out and we'll just use that last flow run and we will take a look at our mailbox again. Uh, in a second, we should see it goes to red. So that's cool. So that's it. Um, it's, it's exactly the same as the previous connector. I didn't realize it was when I made the previous video. Um, it was only when I came to this, I found that it was the same. Um, if I just show you that previous connector for those of you that haven't seen it, uh, this one it asks for the exact same information. So there's no difference that I can see. I've read the Microsoft Docs, um, I've had a look at it, I can't find any differences in the way this works from a user standpoint. So there must be something under the hood about the way it's connecting. Um, the fact that there is a new preview connector means that this will be the new one going forward, which is actually the reason why I covered it in this video. Um, is that I try to, especially when there are like V1s or V2s or V3s and those connectors are still available, I try to cover bo both of those so we can see what the changes are. In this instance, there actually aren't any changes, but I want, I still wanted to document this for prosperity's sake, the fact that there is a new connector, uh, and at some point that V2 connector, or V2 action, sorry, will probably be removed, and V3 will be the only one available. So that's why I wanted to make this video and explain that. Uh, but there you go, it's a, the same video as last time, essentially. Um, but it's good to know that these things are a continuous cycle. So if you see one of our videos and it says V2, but you're looking at a V4 action now, it's probably just a updated one, so you learn something new every day. So there we go. Um, if you like this video, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.